War of Remastered is almost here, and this installment of What's Next is all about that. When we announced the total rework of War Robots visuals and tech, we promised to release it by this fall. Well, it's fall now. What do we have by now? 81 robots and 105 weapons, and this includes titans, special editions and shoots, with models, textures, animations, effects and sounds remade effectively from scratch. Then we have three graphics presets. Minimal is tuned for low-end devices. Performance provides very pleasant graphics but with less eye candy to achieve higher frame rate. And High shows remastered in all of its glory in silky smooth 60 frames per second. Four maps have been rebuilt from the ground up – Canyon, Power Plant, Valley and Moon. Others – Springfield, Red Note, Dead City and so on – come with improved lightning and some minor tweaks. Their full visual remakes are set to arrive in the future updates next year. And the next map, Abyss, that we are making together with the community should already come in a remastered great quality once it's ready. And uh, that's it. Just finish with the maps and we will be able to say that we have remastered everything we possibly could? Of course not! War of Refinement will never stop. We plan to include more graphics presets, work on server's performance, certain game mechanics, proper squadding and joint clans between iOS, Android and lots of other things. That will come later. But what about now? Ok, listen carefully. Around the update 6.4 we will have the new event dedicated to Evil Life corporations and Remastered will enter open beta. That means we will release War Robots Remastered with the updated robots, weapons and maps as a regular update for everyone on the live servers. Three things to note. First, the full game client will be about 2GB and will require 4-5GB to five gigs of free space to install. Later on, we plan to add a new update system that will allow us to drastically reduce the game size and make the updating process easier. For now, please be sure to free up some space in advance. Second, if you are playing the game on a device that is below minimal system requirements, you won't be able to play after 6.4, unfortunately. As we said before, to ensure maximum stability and performance, Remastered requires certain technologies to be supported by your device. Without those, it won't be able to run Remastered. Minimal system requirements here on the screen. And third, you may experience issues at the beginning. That's why it's called Open Beta. We are testing the Remastered on lots and lots of popular devices, ensuring the best experience possible on all of them. But at least for Android there are way more hardware configurations we could possibly account for. Our incredible customer support team carefully tracks all your issue reports. Together we will be able to deliver needed fixes on the go. Once we are sure the beta stands firmly on its legs, we will announce the full release. There may or may not be a period for which we revert the game to the original graphics. It all depends on how the launch will proceed. Now, when we are almost at the finish line, we realize how huge War Robots Remastered project is. That's why this is so thrilling to finally share the results of our work with you guys. Stay tuned, the wait is almost over.